Pierce. The only show where it pays to be patient. Our journey starts and ends right here on the intergalactic time capsule. But what are we doing here? Well, we're here to play a game. A game that will test your skill, nerve and knowledge. It's the only game where it pays to wait and hold off on answering the question. The longer you hold out, the more points you get. The more points you get, the less likely you are to end up in this. I think that thing's got a life of its own. Also on board the intergalactic time capsule, we have our computer, which holds all of the questions. The Total Intelligence Mechanism, T-I-M, or Tim. Tim's got all the clues and plenty of them. Tim, do you want to introduce yourself? I'm Tim. Totally Intelligent Mechanism. Very good. Are you ready for another show, Tim? I've been ready for the last 4.5 million light years, Pete. In your own time. OK. Well, as well as the other contestants, our players will be playing against the time capsule clock. The person that makes it through after three rounds will be joining me in the final for a game of Wait a Minute, where they'll have a chance to win a fantastic prize. Those that don't make it that far, well, their fate is to enter the drop zone and have a dunk in the goo portal. Yeah! Let's meet my contestants! Yeah! Now, today's team are from Glasgow. Contestant number one is Lisa. Lisa, how are you? Good, yeah. Yeah? Excited about playing Wait For It? Yeah. Now, I hear you're into sports, is that right? Yeah. Do you have a favourite one? Football. Football. Do you play for a team? Um, not at the moment, no. No, but you're good? Yeah. Yeah, excellent, excellent. OK. Our second contestant is Hassan. Hi, Hassan. Hi. How are you? Fine. Good, 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 good. I hear you're uh, a bit of a wrestling fan, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, you like wrestling? You wrestle yourself? Yeah. Yeah, you're not going to put any moves on me, are you? <laughs> No, excellent. Good stuff. Good luck, Hassan. Contestant number three, you are Louisa. Hi, Louisa. Yeah. Now, I understand that you're a bit of a singer. Do you like to sing? Yeah. Yeah? Do you sing in a, a choir or a band or...? I sing a choir. Oh, OK. Uh, what type of stuff? Um, just... songs. <laughs> Do you want to give us a couple of notes uh, here in the studio? Ooh. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe later. All right. Finally, Adam. Nice to meet you, Adam. Hi. I understand that you're a bit of a rocker, is that right? Yeah. Uh, so we've got a couple of musicians. We should start our very own Wait For It rock band. Yeah. What do you, uh, what do you play, Adam? I play the guitar. You play the guitar? Yep. You, you lead guitar? Uh, lead guitar and rhythm guitar. Oh, brilliant. Give me your best guitar pose. Oh, excellent. Good stuff. All right, well, I can see you're all excited and, and ready to play. So let's talk about round number one. Round one is called Wait For It. You've got a series of questions that are exactly 15 seconds long. Now, you can buzz in at any time, but obviously, the later you leave it to buzz, the more points you'll get. So, for example, if you buzz in at seven seconds, get the question right, you're going to bag yourself seven points. If you get the question wrong, then your opponents get the seven points, OK? You're going to have to keep one eye on your opponents and one eye on the clock. Now, in this game, there are ten questions and you each have three lives. Remember, listen carefully to the clues and when you think you know the answer, wait for it. OK, can we have question one, please, Tim? I am an animal. You probably have a toy version of me in your room. I'm not cuddly in real life, though. In fact, I can be... Lisa? A bear. A bear is correct. Ten points, well done. OK, second question, please, Tim. I am a noise produced by a human being. I come out of your mouth and can be considered to be rude, although you might find it funny. Some people can make this noise so much they can say... Adam. Burp. Burp is the correct answer. Ten, po ten points there. Well played. OK, question three. I'm something you find on beaches and rivers. People like to throw me in the water, or if you find a flat one, you can skim me and see how many times I skip. Oh, Hassan. Um, a pebble. Pebble, that's the correct answer. Well done, well played. Nine points there. Excellent, excellent. Uh, Louisa, yet to get off the mark there. Are you playing a strategic game? Um, I don't know. No? Well, don't get left behind. Listen carefully. OK, question number four. I'm a pop singer and actress. I was born in the USA in 1958. I have children called Lord... Hassan again. Michael Jackson. Oh, it's not Michael Jackson, I'm afraid. So everyone else gets the points. That's six points each for everybody else. OK, let's go with question number five, please, Tim. 
I'm a three-lettered word often used to describe a part of the body. Humans usually have two of me, but chairs, table... Lisa. Legs. Legs is correct. Well done, seven points. That's two lives down for Lisa, two lives for Hassan, Louisa, still haven't buzzed in yet, and Adam's got one down as well. OK, this is question number six, please, Tim. I'm a member of the British royal family. One day I'll be king after my father, Charles. I share my first name with the famous conqueror. I'm currently serving in the RAF. My grandmother... Adam. William. Prince, Prince William, absolutely right, correct. That's 11 points. Well played there, Adam. OK, question seven. I'm something you might use to save your pocket money. I get my name from the... Pig. Oh, piggy bank. Piggy bank! That's absolutely right, correct. Piggy bank. You've got yourself six points. Fantastic, well played. OK, question eight. Listen closely. Tim? I'm a legendary person with special magical powers. According to the legendary tales, I was a great friend of King Arthur and his knights. The BBC made a series about a wizard of the same name. I live... <coughs> Louisa again. Robin Hood. Robin Hood is the wrong answer, I'm sorry. Robin. Everyone else gets 13 points. That's another life down for you, Louisa. OK, we've got two more questions in this round, so think carefully about using those last lives. OK, question nine, please, Tim. I'm a form of communication. I'm a system for sending messages from one individual to another, between computers or terminals. If I'm sent to you by a company without your permission, I'm known as spam. Ooh, Adam in first there. Email. Email is correct. Well done. That's ten points. You've used up all your lives, so you're frozen out for this final question. So, guys, listen carefully. This is the last chance to pick up points in this round. Question ten, please, Tim. I'm a person with an important job in music. It's essential that I can read sheet music and have excellent rhythm. Every orchestra has one. I'm considered the controller of an orchestra or... Mm. Louisa. Conductor. Conductor. Conductor is the right answer. Well done. Ten points. Well played, everyone. Excellent. But who's done enough to make it through to the next round? Guys, I need you to leave your play pods and enter the drop zone. Oh, it's tense out there. OK. The first person definitely going through into the next round is... Adam! Well done, Adam. Well played. Stay where you are. OK. The second person going through to round number two and safe from the gunk is... Lisa! Well done. Well played, Lisa. Little look, little look of relief on her face. OK, two people left. You both look quite nervous. I can now reveal that the person... Yeah, Louisa, you might want to hold your nose. <laughs> the person about to fall into the goo portal is... Hassan! Oh, Hassan! See you later! <laughs> Louisa, that was a close call, wasn't it? Yes. Did it feel weird out there? Yeah. A bit nerve-wracking? A bit. A bit, just a bit. <laughs> All right, well, on to round number two. This is Watch and Wait. Uh, it's similar to round number one, got the same scoring system, but slightly different. Whenever you stop the clock, that's the number of points you'll get if you get the question right. I'm going to give you a category, and you have to decide how many seconds you want. Now, you won't hear the clues, you'll just hear this annoying ticking sound. For example, if you stop the clock on eight seconds, you'll get eight seconds' worth of clues. Get the answer right, you bag yourself eight points. If you get it wrong, the rest of the clues are played in and your opponents get a chance to swipe those points. Once again, you've each got three lives and it's going to pay to wait as long as possible before you buzz in to get maximum points. You ready to play? All right. Well, let's wait for it. Round two. 
First question. The category is television. Can we start the clock, please, Tim? No one's giving much away here. Oh, Lisa came in at 11 seconds. Feeling confident, Lisa? Yes. OK, let's hear 11 seconds worth of clues, please, Tim. We are a popular double act on children's television and radio. Our surnames are McCourt and Wood. In our CBBC show, we play two princes who are thrown out of our kingdom and have a series... OK, that's 11 seconds worth of clue, Lisa. Do you know the answer? Um, possibly. Possibly. What do you think it is? Um, Anton Deck. It's not Anton Deck. OK, let's play the remainder of the clues, see if these guys can swipe the points. It's of adventures. <coughs> oh, Adam in straight away. I think he might have known from the, uh, the first lot of clues. Is it? What is it, Adam? Dick and Dom. Dick and Dom is correct. Well done. <laughs> Got yourself 12 points there. Well played. All right. The second category is time and dates. Let's start the clock, Tim. Giving nothing away, eyes locked on the time capsule. <coughs> oh, Louisa in first. Stop the clock at 11 seconds. Let's hear 11 seconds worth of clues. I'm a four-letter word beginning with the letter J. I'm a month of the year. I can be a girl's name too. I'm named after a Roman goddess and I have 30 days. If you are born in me, you're star sign. OK, that's 11 seconds worth of clues. Do you know the answer, Louisa? Is it... July? It's not July, I'm afraid. Sorry. Adam, Lisa, chance for you to swipe some points here. Let's play the rest of the clues. Time would either be Jim. Oh, Lisa in there. June. June is correct. 12 points. Well done. <laughs> so, Lisa, you've got one life left. Uh, Louisa and Adam, you've got two each. OK, the next category is animals. Start the clock, Tim. Lisa having to think carefully now. Oh, Louisa in at uh, eight seconds. Will that be enough? Let's hear eight seconds worth of clues, please, Tim. I'm an animal from Australia. I'm great at jumping thanks to having two big feet and powerful back legs. I keep my babies called Joey's in a pouch. You look like you might know the answer there, Louisa. What do you think it is? A kangaroo. Kangaroo's correct. Well done. Well played. Nine points. OK, our next category is things that move. Let's start the clock, Tim. Louisa and Lisa have uh, a life each. Adam's still got two lives. Everyone keeping count in their head or their eyes. <coughs> oh, Adam, stop the clock at 12 seconds. Let's hear 12 seconds of clues, Tim. I have wheels. I'm a type of transport, but I'm not a train. I use roads to go from place to place. I have an engine. I normally run on diesel. I'm used to move materials or goods. I'm often found on the motorway. That's it. That's 12 seconds worth of clues, Adam. Do you know the answer? Is it a lorry? It is a lorry. Congratulations. Well played. 12 points is yours. OK, team, two more questions in this round. Question five, and the category is celebrity. Start the clock, please, Tim. Tensions mounting. They're looking at one another, trying to psych each other out. <coughs> oh, Adam there. Quick draw. Adam, you stop the clock at 10 seconds. Let's hear 10 seconds worth of clues. I'm a famous man on TV. I've also been on radio for years. I'm tall and blonde, and I have a distinctive laugh. You usually see me on game and quiz shows. Ooh, a toughie there. What do you think, Adam? I'm going to have to hurry you a little um, bit. Um, as a... I don't know. Oh, uh, you're passing. Oh. Well, that means you've lost all your lives, Adam. You're frozen out for the remainder of the game. We're going to continue to play the clues, and let's see if Lisa and Louisa can swipe some points. Let's play them, Tim. I've also got some very famous sayings, like, but we don't want to give you that, and is that your final answer? Oh, time up, I'm afraid. 15 seconds ran out. The answer was Chris Tarrant. Did you know that, Lisa? You looked like you were just about to come in there. Oh, crikey. Just a little bit too slow. All right, 
the final question in this round, question six, and it's on the big, wide world. Let's start the clock, Tim, please. Final question. Time's running out between Louisa and Lisa. Oh, Lisa stopped the clock first at 10 seconds. That means we've got 10 seconds worth of clues. Let's see if that's enough. I'm a natural landmark in the USA. I wouldn't exist without the Colorado River, which runs right through me. I look like a big crack in the ground. I'm... Lisa, that's 10 seconds worth of clues. Do you know the answer? No, I don't know the answer. You don't know the answer? That means we throw it across to Louisa. We're going to play the remainder of the clues, Louisa. Buzz in when you think you know the answer or wait for it. It's up to you. Let's hear them, Tim. 277 miles long, over a mile deep and a big tourist attraction. Ooh, time's up, I'm afraid, Louisa. Sorry about that. The answer was the Grand Canyon. It was the Grand Canyon. Sorry about that. So that's the end of the second round. Players, if you could leave your play pods and enter the drop zone. OK. I can reveal that the first person going through to the third round is... Adam! Well played, Adam. Excellent. Well done, yes. You stay where you are for the time being, between Lisa and Louisa. Unfortunately, the person we have to lose, about to drop into the goo portal, is... Louisa! Hi, yeah. Louisa! We'll see you soon! So, Lisa, how did it feel out there on the edge? Scary. Really yeah? scary. Yeah, tell me about how it felt. Um, really nerve-wracking, because your legs start shaking. What was it like looking over to Louisa? I was happy it wasn't me, but I'm sad it's one of my friends. Oh, really? Did you quite enjoy seeing her get dropped into the goo portal? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we're going into the head-to-head -head round now, and it helps in this game if you know a little bit about your opponent's strengths and weaknesses. I'll be giving you a question category, and you've got to decide when your opponent will answer. You'll have three time slots. One to five seconds, six to ten seconds, and eleven to fifteen seconds. Of course, your opponent won't know what time you've predicted. And in this one, the points don't match the clock. This is just the best of five. If your prediction's correct, and the person answers within the time that you suggested, then you win the point. If they answer correctly outside of the time you predicted, well, they get the point. Understood? Ready to play? Yeah. So, Adam, over the last two rounds, you've accumulated the most points and waited the longest, so you get to decide whether you'd like to predict first or answer first. Um, I'd like to predict first, please. You'd like to predict first. Okie doke. Well, the first question, the category is nature. OK, so hold out on the prediction for a moment. I just want to talk to Lisa. Lisa, how are you on nature? Do you know a lot about it? Maybe. Maybe. She's not giving much away here, Adam. She's not giving much away. You're playing a very clever game. You don't want to say anything about... No. Oh, oh. she's remaining tight-lipped. She's not giving you much at all, Adam. But it's time for you to make your prediction. Okay. Of course, everyone can see this except for Lisa, so if you want to press one of the buttons now, Adam, please. Think carefully. OK. Adam's made his prediction. Tim, if we could hear our nature clues, please. I can be found under the bottoms of hens, geese and ducks. I'm oval-shaped with a hard shell and yolk. You might crack me on the side of a pan and eat me fried, poached or scrambled. When I go off, I can smell really bad and make people very ill. In the children's nursery oh. rhyme, the character... Oh. Buzzed in there at 14 seconds, Lisa. Uh, you watch your answer? Eggs. Eggs is the correct answer. Well done. Unfortunately for Adam, you, uh, you buzzed in out of his predicted time slot, which means you get a point. Well played. The next category is people. It's your turn to predict, Lisa. So, Adam, 
What do you know about people? I know quite a lot about people. You do? Yeah. Plenty of people in your family? Yeah. You got a big family? Yeah. OK, all right. Ready to make a prediction there, yep. Lisa? OK, you go for it. OK. We can all see that, of course, Adam can't. So let's hear our clues, please, Tim. I'm the name given to someone at a wedding. I often carry a bouquet of flowers and I wear a dress and a veil. Often, I'll wear something old, something new, something borrowed and something blue. <coughs> oh, Adam, busting at 13 seconds. What's your answer? Um, the wife. The bride. The bride! Yeah. The bride, correct! Absolutely correct. But, 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 but. Lisa predicted that you would answer within the 11 to 15 second time bracket, which means Lisa gets a second point. Well played, Lisa. You know, pleased with yourself there, Lisa? Yeah. Chuffed with that? Yeah. Excellent. OK. Third question. The category is objects. You're predicting this time, okay. Adam. So let's have a little talk with Lisa. Lisa, how are you on objects? You, uh, do you own many objects? I don't know. I don't know. You don't? She's, she's not, not giving anything away here. I suppose this could be on anything. You know, it is objects. Bear in mind, everybody, if Lisa gets the point on this question, then she's going through to our grand final and she'll get to play Wait a Minute. You've made your prediction, Adam. Fantastic. OK, Lisa, buzz in when you know the answer or wait for it. Let's get the clues, please, Tim. I'm something that runs underground. Without me, you wouldn't have any water. I carry water from reservoirs to your house. I also carry gas around the country, too. Huge ones of me. <coughs> Lisa buzzed in at 12 seconds. What's your answer, Lisa? Um, pipes. Pipe is the correct answer. Well done. <laughs> and... You buzzed in outside of Adam's predicted time. That's three out of three, which means you're going through to the grand final. Well played, Lisa. Didn't give Adam a chance there. Crikey. So, at this point, there clearly is a winner and clearly there's a loser. So, Adam, if you could leave your play pod and enter the drop zone. Sorry, Adam. <laughs> oh, Adam. I feel a little bit bad for you there. You're so well dressed. It seems such a shame to spoil those clothes. Are you nervous out there, Adam? No, I'm looking forward to it. You're looking forward to it? <laughs> yeah. OK. Well, it could happen any second. Wait for it. No! <laughs> Good luck, Adam! <laughs> Come down, we're going to play our final game. Wait a minute. It's a long way to come. But here she is. Well done, Lisa. Well done for getting this far. You've played a fantastic game. Have you had fun? Yeah. Yeah? What's been the best part? Um, seeing my friends get gunged. Really? <laughs> what sort of friend are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a nice one sometimes. Oh, really? Re Do you think they're going to be watching and waiting for you to go in in this final round? Probably. Now, there is still a chance you could end up inside the goo portal, but we don't want that to happen, of course. I'm going to give you a chance to win some fantastic prizes in this final game. You're going to hear a series of questions, Lisa. Now, they're 10 seconds long. You've got 60 seconds to get six questions right and make your way across the goo portal. Watch how it's done. Look at this. Nimble feet. <laughs> Phew. All right. The longer you take to get across the goo portal, the better prize you could end up with. If you make it across in 40 seconds or more, you'll be going away with one of today's star prizes. Now, you can only move forward on the pods when you get a question right. If you get it wrong or pass, you have to stay where you are until you get the next one correct. And if you don't make it across in the time, guess where you're going? In yeah, the gunge. In the gunge, exactly right. But, and this is a big but, there's a bit of a twist. You've got 60 seconds, but you won't be able to see or hear the clock. So you'll have to keep time in your head, keep your cool, answer the questions, keep your balance, 
and make it over in 40 seconds or more to win that star prize. You think you can do it? Yeah. Are you ready to wait for it? Yeah. All right, then, let's play. I'm something performed by a magician. You often don't know how I'm Magic. done and are less likely to find out. That's wrong. I'm a character from children's TV. I've also had two number one singles. I always wear a yellow hat and blue dungarees. I have many friends who help me work. Follow the bells are... That's right, move forward. I'm a part of the body and a measurement that is made up of 12 inches. You would find it hard to walk without me. Legs. You have two of me. One at... That's wrong. I'm a part of the world. I'm one of its seven continents. In fact, you're in me now. I'm made up of lots of different countries. My flag is made up of Friends. 12 gold stars on a blue... That's wrong. I am a foxy character. I now appear in a CBBC... That's correct. Move forward. I'm something you aim at when you're doing archery. I'm made up of coloured rings, with the centre being worth Pass. the most points. Next question. I'm a place in south-west London. I'm best known for three things. A football team who once played here, parkland under which the Wombles lived, and a world famous tennis competition. That's wrong, I'm afraid. Next question. I'm something people expect to get when they're grown up. You might need various... <laughs> Handed, you'll take away our intergalactic space bouncer. Well done. What another fantastic game. We'll see you next time on Wait For It. I'm really happy I got like, like to the final because only one person makes it to the final. I'm really happy it was me. The Gunja is the best part. It was so thick and gloopy. Falling into the gunch is the best one. I just want to go into it again. <laughs> I loved getting gunch. It was just so fun because it was so gooey and like, oh, it was just like, I loved it, to be honest. We love you, people!